GBPUSD 2024 analysis. This is the first time I'm analyzing GBPUSD after the monthly candle of 2023 had closed. And let me tell you guys, if you want to know the direction of the market, more so GBPUSD, because what I've come to realize, GBPUSD is what um, uh, give direction. Like it is the major currency that if it is buying, it will tell you other currency what is doing, what they will do. If they, the GBP is selling, it will get you uh, information about other currencies. So I, this is one of the trades I want us to analyze. And if you're watching this video, it will be a very quick video analysis. These are current market analysis. And I hope you can comment down below and tell me what do you think the market has done so far? What do you think the direction of GBP USD will be? Will it be a long-term buy or a long-term sell? Because if you get it wrong in January 2024, let me tell you, it will not be good for you. So uh, before even you get to the analysis, I just want to show us uh, what really happened in the month of, in the year of 2023. Um, I can just backtrace and come back to, this is how the month closed. This is how the year closed. Uh, 2022, that's how the candle closed. The market was on an uptrend and this was, uh, January and uh, that's January. This is the we want the month of January. So this is how the month of uh December 2022 was looking. So from December 2022, uh, I will play and you see how the year played it out. So this is a year playing out in your uh in your eyes. So this is how the months were happening. We had some, if you can see for three months from January, Feb, and March, the market stayed in a standstill. Like for three months, the market didn't do much. And then we entered in another consolidation. So for me, what I can say about GBP USD, uh, for another three months, it's like it was giving us a ranging market. So for the first three months of 2023, January, Feb, and March, the market stayed on a ranging, and then it broke this zone. You can see there was a zone that was broken in the in the month of in the month of April. Again, April, May, June, the month stayed again in a ranging, and then they broke. So it's like the market takes three months in in the monthly time frame to do what it wants. So in the month of July, let's see what happened. So July, we saw. Uh, an attempt to break that area, but the market didn't break that area. And you can see for three good months, for three good months, the market went down. One, two, three. For three months, the market went down. Again, from November and then December. So for other two months, the market went up. So what I can tell you is that if you just study what was happening in the, in the, in the year of 2023, the market, it's like it was ranging in one area so the distance of the highest of 2023 and the lowest of 2023 that's what the market did basically so in one year the market covered uh 1324 pips that is not much compared to what the market can do more so gbps is a very volatile market so uh in the same in the same year we had uh, an activation of a double top that has never completed. And again, uh, that one we'll see in the weekly time frame. What I'm finding on the monthly, we had this break of structure. Let me tell you, this break of structure, don't think that the market makers have forgot. For me, at the, uh, at the end of the day, if the market will not come here and tap this because the market broke this structure, there's a support break and immediately the market broke, it went up for two months. So for me, I still I still feel strongly believe that GBP USD is a strong sell for now, uh, but they are just retracing. So these two months for me, I'm considering a retracement. And the reason why I'm supporting myself as a retracement is because on the weekly time frame, if I go on the weekly time frame, there's something unique we saw with GBPUSD. It had OPT, one pattern on one time frame. And this is a double top that is not anywhere else. So this double top is only on the weekly. And what we know about double tops that are on the weekly and not on the monthly, they tend to obey. 
So this double top is only on one time frame. So we have that double top and then this is our neckline, meaning that at least the market should go half of this distance. And we can see it never reached half. So the question is, the question that I've, even I'm asking myself, will the market reach that half? That is the number one. So this GBPUSD has a high possibility of going to 1.1749, high possibility. So from where the market is right now, the market has a high chance of dropping 965 pips. And what we have seen in the past, when the market is starting a new month, a new year, the buyers and the market makers tend to push the market very fast because they already know the agenda of the of the year. So us retail traders are the ones who are who are not understanding what the market is doing. So for me, what I can tell you guys is that there's high possibility of the market going to 1.17. GBP USD has a high possibility of selling to 1.17. Uh, and um the reason is the double top that was there. So there's a high possibility of market getting to 1.17. Again, we have a market breaking this structure on weekly. We can see the market broke. So already we have this low. It's a low low. So we have this low low. And at the end of the day, the market created a low high. So when the market has a low low and it comes and fails to break this high, the fact that they were not able to create a new high, it tells us that the market will drop soon. So yes, we have a low low here. So here we have a low low. Low low means lower low means uh the market, um the market, the sellers are more stronger than the buyers. So you can see we had a low low and a low high. We never broke this high, meaning there was no high, the the bank, the buyers never were not able to break that previous low as uh, previous uh, resistance giving us a low high and that is an indication that this market can come down again and create another low low or they can come here and fail to break the low low and create a double bottom so that is one of the things that are making me understand that gbpusd has a possibility of continuing to go down. So we have that possibility of a double top and it will go to 1.7. And again, where the market was about to challenge this low, by the way, we have stayed in this zone for so many weeks, one, two, three, four, five. So for a whole month, the whole month of November and the whole month of December, for two months, we were in a one place. And guess what, guys? This double top, again, it's not on the monthly. That makes us understand that if this double top is not on the monthly, you can see we don't have the double top on the monthly, which makes everything even more easier. Why? Because we got an entry way back in the week of December, the first week of December, we were given an entry. But the market took three weeks of trying to, to rotate on one zone. And for me, I've come to realize when the market stays in one area for three weeks and fail to break, they will sell for another three weeks. So for me, I want you to prepare for a sell of GBPUSD for the next three weeks. This market will sell for the next three weeks. If at all, they will not break. And understand, guys, if at all you are on this sell, because at the end of the day, what we are seeing here as a double top, it can change to be a cup and handle. So two things can happen here. Don't be so blinded and biased on with the one direction. What I'm trying to say is that we have a double top that has already given us an entry, already given us an entry. So what I'm trying to say is that the first take profit if you enter this sale is at 1.24. That is your first take profit. The second take profit is at 1.20 because this is our neckline. And then the third take profit is if this neckline is broken, the market will continue to go down. So the next, the that take profit is what? Is below the half of the major one, 1.16, and then they complete. But this is if the market, if the market will be able to do what? If the market will be able to go down. Because at the end of the day, the same double top can turn to be a cup and handle. So the sale is violated 
if the market breaks out the double top. So we are, I'm selling until if I flip on my weekly chart and I find a green candle breaking out, breaking out. Because at the end of the day, as much as you don't want to see this as a double top, can you just view, view it as a ranging? We have a ranging there. So don't tell me if there's a ranging, if it will break, I will still be obsessed with selling. So I'm selling unless the market breaks out of this ranging. So the sell is valid until they break out on the resistance zone. So I want you to be looking for sell opportunity. How do you look for sell opportunity? At the end of the day, uh, weekly has not given us a sell opportunity until we have this break. If the market breaks, that will be given a sell confirmation that this market now wants to sell, if that is the first one. The second thing, how do you get a sell opportunity? We go to the daily time frame. Already the structure is a sell, but how do you get this sell? How do you enter the sell? The way you enter this sell is if the market comes and breaks this area. You see, this is the next support we have. So if this market comes and break out this support, you have a sell opportunity. If you don't want to wait until that support is broken, if you don't want to wait, you can still go on forward to look for sell opportunity. What I'm trying to tell you guys is that if you can see on four hour, if you can see on four hour, we have um we have the the support area. So if that this support area starts to get broken, trust me, sellers have bought it in. So don't sell blindly, just pay attention. We need these sell opportunities, this sell uh support area to be broken for us to understand that the market will sell. Another red flag I want you to notice, if the market starts to break again this area, if the market breaks that resistance and they break here, forget about selling. That market will not sell. If they break here and then they come and break here, we forget about the selling. But I want you to observe GBPUSD. If you are selling GBPUSD, wait for the market to break this support. And at the end of the day, the bigger support and the one that I would highly suggest is the daily one. You see the daily one, this one. If, if GBPUSD, they break 1.2614, that market is a sale. So if the market comes back to this area and they break that area, 1.6, 1.613, I'm telling you that market will sell. So that is my analysis on GBPUSD. Uh, from where I stand, the market is a sell, but they have not declared very well because even on weekly time frame, we don't have a sell opportunity because the candle that closed is just spinning tops. So if you really want to sell GBPUSD, be patient for it to break 1.6, 1, 261. So if they break 1.261, if they break this support, let me tell you, we have an advantage because that market will drop. The market will drop. Those people who use trend line, the ones who use trend line, um, they have something like this. Can you see? It's still the same thing. So there are trend line traders who have already put that trend line and they are waiting to see what will happen. Is the same thing guys and um that trend line on monthly you can't even see it because uh let me delete everything and try to show you the trend line traders the trend line traders that your trend line so if the market breaks that trend line trust me trust me so the market can come down up to 1.22 to just tap that trend line so at the end of the day, don't, don't even if we are selling, we will sell up to the touch of that trend line. So it's good to put that trend line because we might not understand how, how far the market wants to, it might sell and tap this trend line and react. So you might find the market has yes broken the support, but because it has tapped the trend line, it might react. So. I would highly suggest you put that trend line as an extra indication. So we have this trend line and you can still build another one like that. And that's what I'm saying. 
for us to sell, let the first trend line to break and your take profit should be the next trend line. This is for those people who use this trend line. And trend line are not bad. It's just that a simple way. Uh, they are not 100% accurate, but it's good to use them. So pay attention on the trend line to break or the market to break that support. So imagine breaking trend line and breaking this support, you have double confirmation. Thank you so much. All the best in GBPUSD. This is what we'll use to give us direction on what the market will do. I hope you will pay attention. If the GBPUSD breaks 1.26 or the trend line, come back on this video and comment and let us observe. I will now do analysis on GBPUSD if this happens. If they break our trend line and also break our, if they break our trend line and also break our level 1.26, that's when I will review back GBPUSD. For now, I won't review it again until they do that. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best in this 2024. Make sure you make a lot of money. All the best. Bye-bye. See you. Love you.